Hey everyone, lots has been going on on the farm. Still a lot of things to tie loose ends on as we head here into fall. And one of those things is getting all the amazing plants that Mr. Blue Jeans has so kindly blessed us with. Um, growing up in California with my grandmother, we had a very small suburban yard, but she knew how to grow. I wish I had a thimble full of her talent. Um, but we had all kinds of fruit trees, apricots, kumquats, limes, lemons, pomegranates, figs, apples, you name it. She was able to grow it in this little suburban backyard. It was quite something. And it obviously left a real impression on me because I knew that when we landed on our homestead, our forever homestead, these were things that I wanted to have as well. Of course, this was before I understood zones and things are different, uh, but this year we were able to source out um, some of the citrus and fruits uh, of my childhood and that was really Mr. Blue Jeans finding this amazing company. I'll put the link below. Um, it's fastgrowingtrees.com. They, they send a beautiful tree when you order from them. It is packed well, it is shipped well. I am so impressed. I am learning with trees and plants you do get what you pay for. And we were unable to source what we needed here at the local nursery. One of the items I'm looking for is a bay tree and our local nursery just ran out and aren't bringing them back. So we're waiting for them to come back and stop with uh, fast growing trees. But the things that Mr. Blue Jeans did bring to the farm and we have here now and we need to get potted are olives. We have three different types. Lemons, Meyer lemon, my favorite. I'm one of those lemon people that can just peel the lemon and eat it. I like lemons that much. We have Persian limes coming. Uh, we had a Persian lime bush uh, at, at home when I was growing up. And again, same thing. These are incredible limes. They're not the thicker skin type that you get in the grocery store. They're a very thin skin, lots of juice, minimal of any seeds. It is a really cool lime. If you enjoy limes and want to get a, a lime that you want a lot of juice from, a Persian lime is the way to go. Um, and he also got three figs. We have a black fig, a Chicago hardy, which is supposed to be able to make it through 10 below. We don't reach those temperatures here, um, but we wanted to get something just in case, because you never know. And we definitely do get cold in the winter. We get snow, we get frost. So the Chicago hardy may get planted outside in the little garden that I plan outside the kitchen here at the farmhouse, or it may not. I'm, I'm on the fence, I'm not sure. And then we also have um, a, a black fig. So Mission, Chicago Hardy, black fig. And then the bay and the limes are coming. So what are we doing to keep these from not making it through the winter? Uh, we don't have a greenhouse yet. That is in the works in the future. It, we're just not there right now. We're still setting up livestock and, and, and bringing in the last of the animals, which is something I'll go into. Um, probably next spring we have a couple of surprises that will be coming to the farm and like I said right now what we're doing is sort of buttoning things up and really pushing hard on getting the drywall finished in the farmhouse the kitchen set up and and making our living situation flow a little bit easier to be able to make the rest of the farm flow easier you know chaos begets chaos as far as I'm concerned I'm an organized person and um, it's time to get organized so since we don't have a greenhouse, one of my thoughts when we originally decided we wanted a monitor barn as our, our living quarters was I wanted huge glass doors. I love natural light to begin with. But I also thought if there was an emergency, and that's involved into, we just want plants in the house, but if there was an emergency we needed to bring something in, we'd have the ability to put it in front of the big windows and it would grow. But as, t as time has gone on, we really like the idea of just having plants in the house. So we're gonna have a bit of a forest <laughs> with, with everything we're bringing in. But right now we have the lemons potted up and they look just beautiful. And uh, what I wanted to show you today were some casters because we're talking, you know, large pots. It is a lemon tree. We're not going to have it go 12 feet tall or however it perhaps could get. We're gonna keep it smaller, but it is a tree and we do have 22 foot ceilings so it can get rather large i know it's not going to get that big but it's 
hard for me to move around. Let's face it, I'm gonna wanna vacuum or clean or mop or what have you, and I'm not gonna be able to move this pot around. So it was time to invest in some casters for the pots. These are amazing casters. Um, they roll so smoothly. I'll show you. And um, I really liked the color because the farmhouse will be probably going with grays, navies, whites, things like that. Uh, it, it comes in different colors. I think you can also get a white one and, and a gray colored top if that matters to you. I just like the steel blue color. And um, what, was, what was important to me were obviously the heavy duty casters to be able to roll. We will have tile floors and it needed to be um, not metal. I didn't want anything marring the tile, but something that could also roll over the tile and not get caught in any kind of a, a grout line. And these have fit the bill. So I thought it'd be fun to just show you how quick and easy they are to assemble. And um, we will go ahead and um, open up the box and see what we have here. It's packed really well, because like I said, we've got at least 10, if not more plants that will be in the house. But we do have the two big nine foot glass roll up doors. Uh, so we'll have plenty of room to roll things around. And even in the future, I'm hoping to do microgreens in here as well. Then when we get the greenhouse, we'll revisit what stays and what goes. So one of the nice things that I like is there's minimal um, throwaways. This is, this is it, and that, that's nice. I'm glad there's not a whole bunch of junk in here. You get your bag of screws, your casters. They give you a tape measure so you can measure your diameter uh, instructions. The plate top, the, the, what holds your planter, and the bars to hold the planter together. So it's it's super simple. Let me roll this out of the way. One page of instructions, which is lovely. There's the, the other grayish one that I was telling you about. Um, so all you need to do is make sure you have all your parts, which I've assembled a few of these and that has not been a problem. Set them out. And then I found the easiest way is I'm going to put the um, put the bars in. I've got the fan running because, gosh, it's st it's still warm. You know what's been interesting is I really thought summer in the farmhouse was going to be a lot rougher than it was. I mean, there were a few days when I was up here filming and it was just whoo, but you know, we ran the generator and, and had the fan going. But all in all, I'm actually a little shocked at how comfortable the farmhouse has been with no type of HVAC at all. Um, which is probably a good thing because our HVAC is going to consist of one very large um, eight foot fan and a window air conditioner in our bedroom for those nights that are just a little too much. But I'll tell you, most evenings uh, a box fan has been a-okay. So that's really, really great. I was, I was kind of sweating that, that part of the button. Uh, they give you this measuring tape, like I said, it's a little freebie, so that's kind of nice. Um, and um, so if you want to install your bars first. Your bars have holes in them, so you can visually make things even. Um, what I've kind of been doing is making sure that the holes, when you slide them in, line up. So you're going to want to do the two across from the other two. So what I mean by that is you're going to want to do two and two. So I push it all the way in, kind of pull it out so the holes are lining up. They've already got pre-drilled holes here. This is where your screws are going to go into to keep the bars from moving once you determine the size that you want your, your caster plant holder to be. Um, so you want them to be like this. And then what's going to happen is you're going to do this. Oops. Be sure it's whole side up to go through the holes here. So in essence, you'll you'll push two in and then you'll push two in. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So 
So I'm putting these two together here first. And then you just put these together. You see what I'm saying? So you've got a half circle and a half circle ready to meet really easy. So we get those lined up. Scooch them in. Get your glasses. If like me, you can't really see up close. <laughs> and then this gets, it gets a little tight here, but it's not a big deal. And then I, what I'm doing is I'm sort of looking at where my holes are placed. Now I've seen that the holes aren't going to be, you're not going to have one, 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 you just have to look in here and see where your opening is and then pop your screw in. And you'll know what I mean when you get it. It's, I'm making it sound more complicated than what it is. But what I try to do is make sure at least I have one hole in each of these areas where the bars are in showing that I can screw into it. And typically I have two to three holes showing that I can screw in, screw in and make it very, very strong so it doesn't budge when you're rolling it around. So then you kind of give it the old eyeball like that. I've got most of the holes are lined up. I'm going to come across here and there I'm at 15 and a half. I'm at 15 and a half because the holes are relatively lined up inside. So now I'm going to go ahead and any open hole I'm going to run a screw into so this won't budge as you roll down. All screwed in, it's not going anywhere, which is great. I have plenty of screws left, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my casters, and they have all different ways to, to put your casters in here, but what you want to pick is the one that's caddy corner, not straight on. You want the corner, the corner ones, you know, as much as you can make a corner in a circle. <laughs> but you'll know what I mean if you if you purchase these. So those are the ones you want to put in. So again, using my drill, I'm going to go ahead and pop these in real quick. Now I have a few screws left over, so I'm just going to go through here and find any spot where the hole is open. You'll see some areas where your silver bar is just solid through the hole here. That's fine. I'm Honestly, I think the screws that are in here are plenty anyway, but since I know they go to this, I thought I'd just screw them in. That way if something happens and, and I lose a screw, I've got plenty of backups. And that's the long and the short of it. Very simple. These roll so well. I mean, I uh, I can't say enough about them. I, I really was unsure about the weight of what we had with our pots. They are large and they are heavy. Um, but this is, is, I've had them now a week on them, rolling them around, making sure that uh, there's not going to be a failure or a problem before we had invested in, in buying the rest of these. It's been fantastic. And then what I'm putting on top, and I'll have all the links below for, for all these items, um, is just the water catcher. What I like about this one is that it, it gives some areas for air to flow through. I didn't want any kind of mold or anything happening in the water below because I'm not going to be lifting the pot off anytime soon. So I found these to be heavy duty enough that even the pot full of um, dirt and the plant has not collapsed these. These are fantastic. I did not go for the light duty. I did go for the heavy duty knowing that we were going to be growing larger items. I wanted to show you how simple this is. Now you can see on 5.2 it's a large pot but so simple. So simple. This is the Meyer lemons. We have two of them. So excited about them. And look how beautiful they are. I mean, they are doing really, really well here. It has been, like I said, about a week now, and I just love it. So this is the size pot that we'll be putting all of the plants in the farmhouse in, and uh, 
these are the casters in action. So there you have it. Uh, if you are planning on doing something in your house or maybe even greenhouse and you want to be able to roll things around easily, uh, I highly recommend these casters. Again, the link will be below. And I um, want to thank you so much for watching. If you haven't watched some of my gardening videos, take a look at this playlist and check out my most recent video. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you soon.